tap interface is via panorama. So previously we discussed what is a tap interface, which is gave you the introduction as well. Today we are doing the lab, how we can configure it. Just a very, very much recap actually, if you look at our topology we have, we have one virtual wire firewall and all the traffic for VLAN 10 to 11, uh, 11 20, which you, which has been dedicated to a guy, all the traffic from VLAN 9, 10 to 11 is actually passing through virtual wire. So basically this interface is also part of a switch actually. And also the data center firewall E11, it is also part of the uh, the same, same uh, basically same uh, uh, switch as well. So what we have done is this, we want to make sure the any traffic originated from VLAN 10, uh, 11 to 20, all the traffic will be replicated to our firewall where we are tapping it. So tapping is like, like somebody, agencies are tapping their phones or mobile, so somebody can see what you guys are doing. So this, basically the firewall follow alto can give you the flexibility rather than you buying like expensive software and machines and this and that, and you want to monitor the traffic that what's going on. You can even monitor particular traffic. You can say only for HTTP traffic, SS, SSH traffic, telnet traffic, or anything like that. And even application traffic you can actually monitor, not all of them. But even you can tap it, you can basically all the traffic, because basically later on, all the traffic will be for you guys from these VLAN. Because we are using the VLAN infrastructure in our uh, in our environment. So if, if we, so what we need to do is for the tap point of view, we need to configure that all these traffic is going through the, these interfaces. Now let me just show you what we have done in terms of how we configure these switches and uh, the devices. So basically this is our switch where our both devices are connected, data center firewall and also this virtual wire firewall. So what we have done is on the Cisco router, Cisco, we have configured this, this command. So basically what it's doing at least in monitor session one, source VLAN 10 to 11, and monitor session destination interface 102. And 102 is connecting to our VPN tab firewall with the E1 interface, which will be configured as a tab, so we can receive all the all the traffic from originated from VLAN 10 and 11 will be diverted and we will be listening on 102 for later analysis. Okay, to show money right now, this is a Cisco style, maybe if it's a Juniper, it might be different. But the concept of span, which Cisco call is span port, or we call it Palo Alto, or sorry, Palo Alto call is a tap mode. But the concept is same, the traffic is coming from one interface, and the tra you can actually, uh, going between the two different interfaces, the traffic is forwarding from different interfaces. But what we are saying that any traffic comes from all these VLAN, we want to monitor it at this interface. And this interface is connected to VPN tap E1 interface. Okay. And uh, for the lab point of view, let me show you how we can do it. We need to log in to our panorama. And in the panorama, just first, what is the tab we, we have configured? So basically, the panorama point of view, which the template, we are using a VPN uh, tab uh, template stack. We will be using VPN net and interfaces. Now let's just look into that VPN net zone interfaces, we can see that the firewall 114, it has four interfaces, but we are using only one. For example, you look at this E11. This is where we will be receiving the traffic. As of now, it's not in any type of mode. We will be configuring everything from the panorama. Unfortunately, for this kind of configuration, you guys are not doing anything. Okay, we will be doing uh, all the configurations from our side and just for the, uh, for the sake of configuration, you will be uh, just to see that extra steps, how we can do it. So basically, first of all, I need to add the physical interface. The physical interface point of view, I will be saying, sorry, VPN tap, VPN tap, net zoom. The interface is not there. I'm, I'm collecting this as a uh, slot one and my E1 actually, and the comments, Eleven to twenty, sorry. And this is by default tab. Nothing else is configured required. Which security zone you want to configure? Because the zone is not configured, so you 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 can configure the zone from 
before it or you can say So these zones you can configure from here first, okay, and then you just you can configure any zone from here as well. So we can see that that interface is required for E11 into the tap mode. That's it. This is the tap mode. As of now, the the uh, uh, yeah. So this is the tap mode. Then the zone information: no VLAN, no virtual wire, no virtual router, nothing else. So these are the three information we need. Along with that, we need to configure a policy. Now, where we will be configuring a policy? Device group point of view, this device is part of the VPN tab device group. So I will be going to that policy. I will be configuring VPN device group. I am configuring a pre-rules actually. Always, wherever you are working, make sure you put the comments as well. Most likely, change number. For example, right? Source will be because tab zoom actually. Destination will be tab zone as well. Okay, that is my policy source, tab zone, destination. You can monitor, for example, just for the HTTP, for example. Okay, or let's say just for all of them right now. Services, any action. Okay, so you see that's that's the configuration we have. So first of all, these three steps are required. Number one, we need to go into the template, VPN template, configure the interface in the tab. We need a zone as well, which you can configure during the interface creation, and we need a policy. Right now on the 114, there is no policy, for example, is configured. There is no policy, there is no traffic moving. Already you can see that it might be a different one. I think that's the old. We seen this. That was probably the old configuration we have tested. That's the logs we had. Let me check. So now push it. Push it from the panorama. Now push it from the devices. You can see the configuration has been pushed and you can also see on the firewall as well. That's the commit commit configuration from the panorama mass. Panorama mass. So now I'm continuously pinging. Uh, right now there is there will be no logs on this firewall. If you go to the monitor and traffic, you will not be able to see any traffic that coming from VLAN 10. So you see the last traffic we've seen is 12.17 today. We haven't seen anything. And this was probably from the tap rule, but now we are configuring a different rule name. So let's have a look. Guys, look like, look like the configuration is failed. It will not show you here what is the reason. You can go to the panorama, you can go to the device, and you can go to 114 and look at this commit failed. Okay, what is saying? Validation error. Rule based security rule FN policy 10 to policy tab policy is not the 
अलाउड की वर्ड Let me force use the force value. So the reason is when we do interface related configuration, we have to do through the force value, right? That's what you're saying. Okay. Then all the configuration is pushed to the almost seventy five percent. uh let's see if any policy there because i'm sending the continuous traffic from the email 11 still not because the configuration has not been when it's i think is 99% then we send the traffic through now you can see here we go you see this is sending the ping is sending the fn tab policy 11 v and 11 12 that's what it is you can see right now okay you can see how many now so previously the logs was 12 now we see the logs are coming so vpn tab to vpn tab the source is coming from here so later on once the internet traffic will follow up you will see that all the traffic will be here okay and that will be shown in the acc as well so that's my policy let's see the network first so there you go so this interface as you can see from the template okay vpn <coughs> tab template stack The other one is layer three. Uh, this is the policy we have applied. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. We can see how many hits we have. Two ninety nine, and these hits are visible here. Here we go. And what we can do, we can because right now we are monitoring all kind of traffic. You want to monitor any. layer 3 layer 4 information for example application level once we come into the application level we will see what is different right now just a simple policy we have applied just to see just to receive this traffic so this is how we can do to see all kind of traffic we are actually to see it. on the switch side we see this show monitor detail and now firewall this switch both the switches both the switches both the devices are this this firewall and this firewall they are connected to the same switch that is why any traffic is coming from vlan 10 to 11 to 20 will be diverted the copy the traffic is forwarding between this interface and this interface however one copy will be also sending to this as well that is what is happening this is called tap mode any question take is a tap thank you